Hi, this is Madison Burchunis and Doris Thompson from Stonecroft. And we would like to talk to you today about the Praise Walk that's coming up this fall. It is Saturday, September 23rd. And we are happy that you're listening to this recording right now because that means that you're really interested to hear what the Praise Walk is all about. So that's what we want to do today. We want to inform you about the Praise Walk. We want to show you how to register. We would like to show you all the resources that are available to you and the fun things that you'll get in the mail. So Doris, why should a woman do a Praise Walk this year? Oh, thanks, Madison. I am so excited about this year's Praise Walk. You know, over the last, I think it's been three or four years that we started to doing Praise Walk. I've participated and done them in all different places and had so many different experiences with Praise Walk. So I'm really excited about um, each of you who are listening to this recording to step out in faith and walk in your neighborhood, walk in your community, and begin to um, ask the Lord how you might reach the women with the gospel in your community to ask for new ways to actually reach women with the gospel. And I just really encourage you to even bring a friend, you know, walk down your neighborhood and you'll be just amazed at how the Lord will really speak to you uh, during your praise walk. Yes. And this year, the verse that we're kind of leading on to guide us is Romans 10, 15. And that says, and how will anyone go and tell them without being sent? That is why the scriptures say, how beautiful are the feet of the messengers who bring good news. And I'm excited this year um, for women to go out um, because of all the stories that we've heard in the past of what God has done. And I know that we're going to hear just as exciting stories this year. So uh, let's talk a little bit about that. The stories that we've heard in the past, Doris, what are, what are some that you can think of or even a story from your own experience of a praise walk? Yes, uh, thanks, Madison. Uh, just recently, I, I had the opportunity to speak with Michelle Cartwright, who is one of our divisional field directors who lives in Colorado. And she uh, told me about these two women that were new volunteers to Stonecroft. And last year, they, they decided to do a praise walk. And they really heard from the Lord as they walked in their community. That experience actually led them to do an outreach and to invite other women that they knew to do a Stonecroft Pretty Hurts. And that was just a great example of how walking in a neighborhood and really seeing a need and inviting other women to really participate in that. And now those two women are now starting a Stonecroft hub where they live. Wow. So here it was just two new women and, and the Lord just really spoke to them. They stepped out in faith they did an outreach uh, and women came to know Christ and now they're now they even have a larger community of Stonecroft volunteers engaged in evangelism in their community uh, for me personally I have to say the one that probably touched my heart the most is when I took my grandkids you know and I know many women who are listening to this recording you know you've got daughters and you've got grandkids and we want to encourage you to make this a family event you know take your spouse you know, take your kids or your grandkids. And and my two grandkids, one was three and the other one was five. And it was so much fun to be able to, you know, just really um, point to different opportunities for them to pray. And, you know, my little granddaughter got so excited about it because she would recognize toys in a yard or she would recognize maybe a broken down car and Madison she would begin to pray for the little kids that lived in the home or for someone that maybe didn't have a transportation or car to get to work and a few months later my daughter called me up and said she just got an award for being a prayer warrior Aww. and it just was it, you know there's nothing as great as when your family and particularly your kids um, follow the Lord and really participate in prayer. So um, that was really something that started with the praise walk. That's great. That that reminds me of how creative women get during the praise walk. You know, we don't want there to be one way to do this. We don't want to say, 
you know, just grab a group of women and go walk around the neighborhood. There have been so many different things that women have done, including taking their grandkids or their husbands and, and doing different things. And so we've heard in the past of groups of women even joining up with things like cancer walks and walking um, for a cause and praying for people who are doing that. We've heard of women who, who can't walk for extended periods of time, so they'll get in their vehicles and they'll drive around and pray while they are riding in their car. Women have gone to shopping malls and walked around or business districts and asked business owners for prayer requests. So there are a lot of different things that you can do. I remember on our last call, Alma Ziegler um, from Texas, she had shared a incredible story of her praise walk and the many people that they encountered as they walked. I mean, they were so fearless in walking up to people and asking for prayer requests, and they were able to bless so many people with prayer. And And she even followed up with those people later and, and got to hear how God answered those prayers. And so that's one of my, the most exciting parts about the praise walk for me is reading the stories of, of what happened on the praise walk. And everyone will get a chance to share their, their stories as we send out a praise walk survey at the, at the end of the praise walk, which you'll hear more about later on. So thanks for sharing those stories, Doris. Um, now I'm going to show you all how to register. So I know you're probably thinking right now, I'm so ready to get my praise walk started. So where do I start? And you're seeing on the screen right now our Stonecroft website. And how you'll get here is by going to stonecroft.org backslash praisewalk. Simply go to our website and search praisewalk in the toolbar and it'll pull it up for you. So you should get to this page when you do that. So as you happen on this page, you will see this graphic of a woman's shoe. Uh, she's walking and then you'll scroll on down. You'll see some information here. The walk is September 23rd and whatever time works for you, uh, wherever you feel like God is leading you to walk and with any woman who wants to pray with you. And I will say this says Christian women in every community, but we've had women, including Doris, who have taken non-believers on this walk. And it's a great way to introduce them to prayer and the heart of a believer. So I will scroll down to where you will want to register. And there, it seems like there are a lot of fields here, but they all have a purpose. So just make sure that you complete every field in its entirety. They, most of them, they have an asterisk here. That means that it's a required field. So some women will think that they've completed everything, hit register, but it doesn't actually go through because not all the fields have been completed. So make sure you get all of those fields filled out and make sure that your address is correct because I'm going to be sending you a fun kit in the mail. So you'll fill all that out. Um, let us know where you're going to be walking in your city, where your start location is, any additional information that you'd like us to know. And as you get down to the bottom here, you'll see, would you like to receive a praise kit, walk kit in the mail? And I'll tell you more about what that includes here in a minute. You'll want to check the statement of faith. If you've never read our statement of faith, you can find it here. And then this question right here, permission to share information provided, that's, that just means, is it okay for us to share with other women that you're gonna be doing a walk? We have women who call up to our home office and ask, hey, I don't have a praise walk, um, but I'm looking for one in, let's say, the Denver area. Do you have a woman's information where I can tag along? So if you would be open to having that information shared, please click yes here. And then you want to make sure you hit this I'm not a robot button and then hit register. So then when you know you've registered, you'll receive an email from um, one of us at the home office saying, thanks for registering, and that way you know that it went through. So after you've registered, you'll scroll back up here and you can find our resources. So this will be really helpful for you. We've created a lot of resources to help you on the day of the walk, and we wanna make sure that you know those are available to you. So the first thing I wanna point out 
this is going to be available to you right after you register, are the Praise Walk invitations. And just click on one of these links. It's on the left-hand side. It says Praise Walk Invitations 1. And we do have two options of these. And these are fillable fields here. So you will be able to fill in all your information according to what time, day and time that your walk is. And then you'll be able to send these to a printer or print them out at home. You can put your information here and that way you just print them out and you can hand them out wherever, wherever you're going to be inviting women. So we'll go back over here to the resources page. And I want to show you the other resources that we have available to you as well. We have Praise Walk Tips. This will just give you some tips for organizing, some questions for reflection, how you can share on social media. So if we go back out of here. You will also see Praise Walk ideas. So like we were talking about earlier, women have had incredible ideas, very creative, and you can see quotes here for, for what women have done, and also some ideas for next steps following your Praise Walk. We have a Praying Thoughtfully card. And I will say in the kit that you receive in the mail, we will be giving you these resources. So we print them out and we send them to you. But if you're wanting to get a head start on it or you, you just like to have them on hand right now, you can go ahead and print these out. So the Praying Thoughtfully cards are going to be prayer prompts for you and your women as you walk. So, you know, we're praying for revival. We're praying that God would help us to listen. We're asking for prayer requests and praying for compassion for those that we see. We also have a sign-in sheet, and this will also be sent in your kit. So this will be important. We would love to see photos of you and your walk and the women who join you. And we will need a, um, if you share those with us, we'll need a release from the women who join you. So that's, that's all on here. They'll be able to release that they're, okay with being um, photographed if we do end up using those photos for anything. We also have Facebook banners that you can put on a Facebook event. That's a great way to promote your event that you have going on. So we have a few different designs available to you for that. And you can download those and, and use them on your Facebook page. We also have this document called Five Easy Steps to Start a Praise, which we will talk a little bit more about here in the follow-up section of our call. And if you like name tags, we do have a name tag document for you to print out as well. Our, our kits that we're gonna be sending to you in the mail are very exciting this year because we have a, a new gift. We've done Praise Walk water bottles in the past and this year we're actually doing a Stonecroft tote bag. So we'll be giving you the tote bag, we will be giving you a Stonecroft prayer journal and all of these resources included in the kit. And it's important to know that we would need you to register by September 12th in order to receive that kit on time to your door for your walk. So again, I'll show you where to register. You just go down to the bottom here and make sure that you register by September 12th to receive the kit. So now, Doris, I would love for you to share with us uh, some follow-up ideas. Yes, thank you, Madison. And, and you can find the Praise Walk registration and those Praise Walk, Praise Walk resources at stonecroft.org backslash Praise Walk. So that's stonecroft.org backslash Praise Walk. And that will take you right to that site that Madison just reviewed for you. I think um, what you will find as you are going on this walk is that the, the Lord will you know, just show you things and you will find, um, you'll get excited for your community. I think you'll see your community in new ways, depending upon where you walk. And, and so often um, as you conclude your walk, you're wondering what happens next? I don't want to stop praying now. I just got started. And so we want to uh, tell you about a few ideas that uh, women have done in the past that 
you can plan as the organizer of your walk. One is continue to do a praise walk. Invite the, um, the people that you uh, just uh, finished walking with to schedule another walk. We've often had our groups meet, you know, uh, every Saturday for a walk and pray in their community or maybe once a month. And so just continue doing a praise walk. The second thing, you know, you can also follow Michelle's example and really ask the Lord to give you ideas of doing some sort of an activity, some sort of an outreach that you can reach the unbelieving community. And we have plenty of ideas um, at Stonecroft and women are so creative in the field and they share those ideas with us. And you can go to stonecroft.org backslash outreach or backslash outreach network. And you will have plenty of ideas that can really stir you to um, how you might share the gospel in your community in really creative ways. Um, in addition to that, we would also invite you to start a praise group. And we have um, a number of different praise groups throughout the United States. And then it's women just like you who gather together and once a month they are praying for their community. And you will receive every month a wonderful devotion by Lorraine, where she really encourages and inspires you um, to share the gospel in your community. And we give you different tips and different prayer prompts as well. So you have, um, you know, different resources to actually start a prayer group for your community. And that's been just amazing to see how the Lord has answered prayers and invited women to really step out in even greater ways. So we really want you, as you are planning your praise walk, to also think of what happens after the praise walk, because you'll be excited to continue doing what you have started as you um, are praying for the community. So Madison, I think we've covered uh, a number of things for the women to really get started, some ideas that, um, you know, that they can start thinking about in terms of where their walk will be held, who they will invite. You know, we've also talked about the kit that they'll receive in the mail and how to register for that on our website at stonecroft.org backslash praise walk. And, and hopefully each of you, if you've listened to this recording, are, are inspired to um, register today and uh, be able to receive your kit in the mail and begin really praying for your community. And how important is that today to be praying for those in our community? Mm -hmm. So with that, Madison, could you go ahead and close our time in prayer today? Yeah, thanks, Doris. I'd love to. Father, we thank you that the idea of prayer started with you, that you, uh, Jesus, are the perfect example of prayer and obedience. And so I pray, Lord, for every woman who's listening, that uh, she would feel your your spirit leading her to do a praise walk, that you would also give her ideas of where you're leading her to walk, whether that be in her neighborhood in a business district, in a mall, uh, driving around in a car, walking around a mosque. Lord, you have a heart for somewhere in her city that you want her to walk. So I pray, Lord, above above all else, that you would be speaking to the woman, women on this call. And I pray that, Lord, for the logistics of everything on our website and getting registered would be easy for the women who are registering. We pray, Lord, for those who, who won't be listening to this call, that um, you would bring more, more women to pray on this important day for their communities, for their cities, for our country, for revival, Lord, because so many people are in desperate need to know who Jesus is. And we pray for those who have already registered for a walk. We thank you for that. And we pray a blessing over each woman who will be walking on September 23rd, that ultimately, Lord, that you would be glorified. Pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.